Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on Action Timing. Today, we're gonna check another BR builds, but before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So, this BR builds is going to revolve around Protect type characters. We're gonna use a, a team full of Protect type characters. And if you look at the filters, there's gonna be plenty of characters who who fall into that category. We have 11 characters who are protect, which is great. It gives us versatility depending on what you want to do. But obviously there are gonna be some characters that perform even better. For example, uh, who? Lapis is a, an obvious staple of VR, but Shiranui, no, yes, Mizuki Shiranui, Lina and Ingrid are probably some of the best characters that you can use on VR. Like these are going to take some time to build, but they are receiving their own VR weapons. They're going to be anti-human and Shiranui is going to be, is anti-demon. So that's the thing. Everyone else is going to have a disadvantage over them because they don't have their corresponding uh, anti-trait weapons. Or, well, maybe some of them have anti-trait weapons, but they're going to be SR weapons. Keep that in mind like Zeus Anti-Machine or Zeus Anti-Demon. So yeah, you can use any of those weapons if you want. In my case, I'm gonna be using, as you can see, Shiranoi, Lina, and Lapis. Even though I don't have the weapon, it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does help out because it enhances one very good skill for, for Lina, but we're not going to use that skill right now. So, uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna change my formation for something that enhances protect. So let me check if I go down. So here we have damage increase of protected card. Damage of protected characters increases by 12%. Pretty nice. I could equip this. Damage dealt to protected characters. No. Critical rate uh, of protected characters. Nope. Critical damage of protected. Uh, nope. Maximum HP. Nope. I guess I'm gonna go for damage. Damage of protect type characters increases by 12% and damage dealt with melee attack increases by 8%. This is better than the other one, but the other one is super F2P friendly. That's uh, like amazing. Just with one copy of, of Hebiko and Momoko, which is an SR, you're gonna have this great effect that you can use. But since I already have this unlock, I think I'm gonna use Adventure Hunter Timonin. Uh, but let me check. Do we have other uh, fortitude of protective characters? No, thank you. Penetration of protective characters. Mm. This is actually not that bad. I could go for this one. Do I need that penetration? Not in this step. I I'm on the step 58. If I was higher, I would probably use this one. But I don't think that most people are going to have this. Look. This is character release limited supporter, and we are not getting the, the pack for for Astro soon because she wasn't she didn't have the limited car the character release limited supporter on her pack, uh, and she already got her renewal. So that's a thing. This is a character pack limited supporter, and this is a um, commemoration limited supporter. Let's say like this was on the second anniversary I think so yeah oh no it was on the on the merging event for the servers I think I, I don't remember let's see other than that uh, do we have something else that works with protect assist protect speed this one would be good if you have it and you like the speed you can use this one for sure uh, particles no so since I am not using um, like, since I'm not hitting, like, a higher step, I'm going to be just using this one to increase my damage overall. So, yeah. And this is a mix attacker. It has range and melee. But these two are melee attackers. But also, uh, Shiranui is going to have a range attack in the fourth row of So Get Swing. So, so, so Get Swing. So Get Swing. So, that's the thing. So, very quick, I changed the formation, didn't I? No, I think I didn't, <laughs> I didn't put confirm. Uh, 
Yeah, when checking for a moment, I was like, where is it? So I put this, I put confirm, set, uh-huh. We have the formation. Yeah, formation, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. So what is this team going to do? Abuse the one color, the, the protect type characters. So Lina is going to be our main damage dealer. So as you can see, she's maxed out level 87. She's going to be using uh, on the sub weapon Sakura Tempest. It's whatever with whatever Magatamas is level five plus 15. And on the main, I'm going to be using Kahahirako because Kahahirako is way better. Uh, it is also five out of five. It's plus 14, but the effect is definitely worth it. Uh, the speed increase is very good. For Magatamas, I'm going to be used Anti, I'm going to be using Anti-Demon Wind, which is going to proc because of my Mixed Attacker status. Then, for skills, I'm going to be using Vanish. I'm also going to be using um, Unorthodox Swordmanship Cherry Blossom because it pairs super well with, um, with uh, Kahahirako. But if you want to change it for Late Bloomer, that's also a thing. I'm pretty bad at doing these follow-ups attacks, so I, I don't use it, but it's actually like the most optimal thing to do. And then Cherry Blossom Frenzy uh, to, to gain another damage increase, so that Vanish is gonna be super busted uh, with these attack buffs. So yeah. That's about it. A pretty simple damage increase. As you can see, I'm not using Cherry Blossom Blinding Storm because I have a healer. I don't need it. But it would be responsible to take it or equip some damage reduction. In my case, look what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to put Lilim. Lilim is pretty simple. It is one of the best supporters that you can use for protect type characters just to increase damage and also it gives me a ton of buffs and among those buffs we have damage increase and damage reduction so it's gonna be great the other one is gonna be Arabella to increase damage and Blackbeard Kirara to increase damage pretty simple right? then for Lapis Lapis again max out she's gonna be using the Shikigiri which is the Momochi weapon this is going to uh, have a supportive role if you don't have Bright and a Rose, you can use another weapon. You can even use the the um, Gloom of the Worshipper if you plan to use a Spear Barrage. In my case, I, I plan to use Bright and a Rose. That's why I use this. Anti-Demon with uh, Water and Fire. Whatever Magatamas. 5 out of 5, both of them. Plus 15, both of them. Four skills. Piercing Dash. Gem Support. Moral Boost. Super easy, it's a healer, so that's what she's meant to do. Then, I'm going to be using Nana, obviously, because I want to reduce as much damage as possible on this character. She's going to be tanking all the hits, basically. To increase the damage, I put Arabella and Anna Rose, right, Anna Rose, so that she's able to create and abuse the debuff from Shikigiri normal combo right pretty simple and then we're gonna be using Shiranui again max out for the weapons both are 5 out of 5 plus 15 this one is an anti-demon weapon that's why we are using Shiranui in this build for Shiranui we have anti-demon Magatamas with fire and ice which have anti-demon effects by the way and also, we're using whatever Magatamas on this part. Then, we're going to go green, as you can see. I'm going to use Rondo and Sogetsuin, so get swing to increase my speed and deal a ton of damage. And the basic enhancer. There's options here on how to build this last character. Let me show you. Like, uh, first the, the easy part. I'm going to use Asagi here. To increase my uh, damage and also reduce the damage taken from demon type enemies. It is super easy. It is um, an F2P supporter. If you don't have this one, you can equip Lydia. Like, she's good for humans, you know? You can also equip other supporters. I mean, 
uh, Torajiro, if you want to go defensive, you can use um, Hisui. In this case, I'm going green, but you can go whatever color you want, as long as you uh, develop a, a cohesive strategy with that character. Red is probably the easiest one to use because it gives her HP recovery, but I'm focusing on the HP recovery of Lapis, so I won't. And here, Misaki. You can put this on the main if you want to get more healing. It is super great even if it's not in the main because it gives you a ton of damage on BR. And lastly, I'm using Tempest Lina. Why Tempest Lina? Number one, this is going to give me damage reduction from demons. From demon type enemies, all allies have a 30% damage reduction. You see? So that's super important and the reason why I put her on the main like you could put other things like as I mentioned Misaki is an excellent option uh, you could also use by the way Maika depending on what you want to do because she gives critical rate to uh, protect type characters but we're gonna discuss that maybe on another video but know that it's an option because all my characters are uh, going to be protect and one of them is using bright and arrow so it's all it also helps here since i have the basic enhancer we're going to be able to charge more particles and also i have speed buffs that also pairs well with this uh, strategy that uses particles on this character so it's pretty cohesive the, the fact that i have a speed increase and particle in charge increase on the basics is going to help out uh, to use tempest lina to abuse my skills in turn. So let's test it. It's gonna be pretty good. Like I am relying, I am over relying on on um, the healing from Lapis. I won't deny that. But this is a strong build that you can use on steps like this, like uh, 60, 50, 40, 30, it's going to be pretty good on those steps. If you go beyond that, well, then that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Like, you probably don't want to do that. There we go. Damage, 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 damage. Avoid, avoid. Come on, avoid something. So that I can use my... There... My damage increase. Oh, it has... Um, but that was melee. There we go. Nice. As you can see, like, I'm not receiving damage. There we go. Well, I am receiving damage for sure, but uh, Lapis is healing me, so that's no problem. I'm also going to use the ultimate since I can, and since it bypasses the the uh, immunity, I guess. Yeah, it does. And it also chips away the, the duration of those buffs. Nice, nice, nice. So little by little, I destroy the HP of this boss. Come on. <laughs> it's very tricky for some reason. Like, I cannot activate that uh, perfect dodge. Like, constantly, but here we go. About to finish with this. Super easy, as you can see. So... That's one way to tackle VR. I did a video, if I'm not mistaken, on red, I think. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure that I did a video on machine type uh, characters. You can do the same for other traits, for demon, for human, for protect, for assist. There's every time there, we're getting more and more characters or, well, supporters that... Uh, enhance the performance 
of specific traits. Usually that's going to happen on the on the main uh, on the passive on the active. For example, one that I was thinking of, of using was um, Worshipper Lapis and also Normal Lapis. Both of these are pretty good because they reduce damage for demons. But I'm actually going to do a team <laughs> for next video that is going to be Protect Demons. So keep an eye for that. So yeah, what do you think about this strategy? Do you use strategies that focus on specific traits? And if you do, what kind of supporters do you use? Let me know in the comments and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye.